<laughs> I look crazy. It is the next day. I've managed to straighten my hair this morning before leaving the hospital. We are back at the hotel now in a different room. We've just checked in. We were sat in the lobby for about three hours, almost four hours actually. I don't know what happened there, but I just thought I'd give you some updates. I'm just gonna turn you around. Hopefully you guys will still, you know, be able to see me that well. Oh, wait, maybe you can. I need to find somewhere to put you that is safe and high enough. Cause I'm a tall gal. I'm not that tall, I'm like five, seven, but taller than the average. That's not a great angle, is it? That's kind of the best I can do right now. Oh, I feel like my camera's gonna fall. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, we're not doing that, okay. It's a bit of a weird angle, but this is the best I can do right now. The hospital's so nice. All the staff was so nice. It was great. I did have a bit of an uncomfortable sleep, only because I can't breathe through my nose. So I would like fall asleep, obviously breathing through my mouth, and then as I fell asleep, naturally I just try and breathe through my nose and it would wake me up. So that was a bit like difficult. And then every couple of hours up until a certain point, there would be nurses coming in to um, just to check on me, like to change my drip or to add something or take my blood pressure. And there was one point, I don't remember what time it was, but there was one point where one of the lovely nurses came in and she put some stuff in my drip um, and she left and I started feeling like a lot of pain in my arm. I don't really know what it was, but I called her back and said I had pain, so she, changed it and put the drip down here it was at midnight mm -hmm. that was pretty uncomfortable but that stuff happens i guess and also i chose to do this to myself so <laughs> i've got to suffer the consequences but yeah after that point we both managed to sleep for a little bit which was nice we watched netflix we finished was it called painkiller yeah it was so good obviously sad and can be quite triggering so I will give like a little trigger warning, but it's such a good show. It was so well done. So yeah, we watched that and then, God, my arms are battered. And yeah, we both managed to fall asleep. Doctors and nurses and all of that came to check on us this morning. Oh, I also got all my medicine. So I've got painkillers, antibiotics, a nose rinse, a cream and a spray. I've taken the tablets obviously, but I'm gonna use the rinse and stuff now for the first time. So I thought I'd show you guys. It might be a bit gross. I might be a bit snotty. I have no idea. I think probably loads of mucus and snot and stuff is gonna come out. So I just wanna share like the whole experience so you guys know what you're getting into if you do decide to do this. Cause it's not, it's not for the faint hearted. Also, this is very tender, like laughing. You, anytime I have to use my abs, lift anything, it's pretty sore. And I have a very high pain tolerance. So I think I'm probably not feeling it as bad as like maybe some other people might, but it's still like super, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> But it's fine. Right, I don't know how I'm gonna show you this because I don't really know where I can put the camera. Maybe like here, does that work? I don't know, we'll give that a go. Maybe actually, <gasps> just drop me pills. I've also brought like Arnica and Bromelain, which I started taking a week before surgery because it's meant to help with swelling and bruising. I know that I'm swollen and bruised, more so than yesterday, especially. Wow, this eye is going, going crazy right now. But I bruised so easily, so I knew that was gonna happen. So I was trying to do anything I could to like minimize it as much as possible. But Dr. Taskin's assistant did say that I could randomly just blow up any day up until Monday. So I could, it could either decrease now or I could be like crazy swollen tomorrow. We just have to wait and see. So I'm trying to keep my head, I'm trying to not like look down at stuff. So I need to remember the order that I need to do this in. I think the rinse is first. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm kind of nervous. I feel like it's gonna be kind of uncomfortable, but it's fine. Um, I was told to do it like, like really <laughs> hard. I don't, yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So you put the salt in the bottle and then you fill it with water. They said that the water here is clean, which is amazing. So I can just use tap water. I don't know if it should be warm or not. Fill it right up to the neck and then do one squirt, other nostril, other nostril, other nostril until it's all gone. Wait, I haven't even... Of course. Drum scare. This doesn't look pretty, so... That is what my nose is looking like right now. I'm so eager to actually see it. I know on the day that I get my cast off, it's probably gonna look really weird and not how it's actually gonna look in a few months time, but I just, I really wanna see it already. You know what, I'm just gonna get on with this because it's, I don't know, I really don't wanna do this part. Oh, okay. Oh, that is horrible. Oh. 
Okay, it's not so bad. It's not that bad. I'm exaggerating. It's just hard because I can't breathe. Oh, I've just squirted it in my bloody eye. And I've got my tip thingies wet as well. That's not good. I'm meant to keep the tapes dry. Oh no. Why am I like this? Right, I need to take it a bit easier, I think, because I'm going a bit too cray right now. This needs to be done three times a day. I really just want to be able to blow my nose, but I don't even think it's that full of mucus. It's more just that it's so swollen. I think, I'm not sure though. My nose is also still completely not Like if I wasn't looking at myself, I wouldn't know if I was touching my nose. Oh my God, also when the doctor took those like tampons out of my nose, weirdest feeling ever. It literally felt like he was pulling them from the back of my throat up through my nose and out, even though they were like this big. But it wasn't painful. It was just like uncomfortable. Okay. That's done, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> also, most of the evening after the surgery, I was getting like a lot of mucus in my throat and spitting it out constantly. So that's, yeah, just something for you guys to expect. Okay, no spray. Three sprays in each nostril. This should be fairly straightforward. Ugh, I feel like it's all just falling back out. Maybe I should do it with my head back. Wow, nostril cream. Just need to apply externally wherever there's stitches. And then we're good to go until the evening. Warm it up with my fingers. Oh, I keep trying to smell things and I can't smell anything. Like, it's so like natural to me to just automatically try and smell everything. Oh, my nose is so runny. I can't go outside like this. I was also told that after like 10 days, if my stitches don't start coming out on their own because they are dissolvable, to start clipping them out because it's meant to be better for scarring. If you clip them out yourself after a certain point, the healing should be a bit better. So I'm definitely gonna do that because I can scar quite easily. But yeah, that is the routine. Three times a day. And then the pills are two times a day. So I'll take some more in the evening later on. But yeah, that was really not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So I'm glad, I'm happy. <laughs> I've also been told the best thing for me to do, especially in terms of like the swelling and my healing is actually to be like walking around and up and about as much as I can. It was suggested that maybe chill like in the morning and then go out for lunch and then walk around until like dinner time. So yeah, I'm not really sure what our plans are today. Don't fall asleep now. It's four. It's four o'clock already, bub. Well, I didn't realise it was that time, so... I guess today I might do a little bit of walking around. I think we'll just go out for some food and then chill tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to try and find some cool stuff to do whilst we're here, which I'm so, I was so happy when he said that because I didn't want to just lay around in bed the whole time. I get cabin fever real bad. So yeah, it would be nice to be up and about if a little embarrassing, but who also who cares? Like I'm a grown woman that made a choice. So now I've got to deal with the consequences. <laughs> We've just been followed out of the hotel and harassed by somebody, I think, trying to sell me socks. That was very annoying, I'm not gonna lie, the way I feel right now. But we are just on our way to what we think is a supermarket because I'm craving fruit so bad and um, we just need to be up and about and walking. I was getting a bit itchy in the hotel. I needed to get outside, so we are outside. It's looking like there might be a really nice sunset tonight, which I'm very excited about. It feels quite weird walking around looking like this though, I'm not gonna lie. How you feeling, babe? Pissed off? Careful. Yeah. Same. I kept saying no, because she was trying to sell us something. She just wouldn't leave us alone. It Ooh. was anxiety inducing. Yeah, and yeah. I'm really not in the mood right now, obviously. I've just had surgery, so. What's the step? Thanks, bub. Woo. I've got the supermarket in it. Yes, oh my god, yes, this is what I want right now. We got some serious snacks, guys. Hello, everybody. We have had a nice and slow morning. God, I look way crazier on camera. Camera, anyway, we're off to the Blue Mosque today. Been looking on TikTok for some recommendations, and people have said the Blue Mosque, so we're gonna go have a little explore. I'm very excited, although I look crazy. I feel like it. I'm stressing that, oh, I've just poked myself in the nose. Stressing that I might have popped a, I don't know why I'm putting it so close to you, I'm so sorry. I'm stressing that I might have popped a stitch in my left side. So I'll see what I have to do about that. Hopefully it's all gravy in the navy, but I don't really know. For now, we're not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna head out. Also, 
I can slightly breathe air through my nose again and it feels amazing. <laughs> so hopefully over the next couple of days it's just gonna get better and better because it was hard to sleep last night, let's just put it that way. I did not have the best sleep. Let's go do some touristy stuff whilst we're here. Oh, good, isn't it? Yeah. oh wow so we've just spent forever picking out our order on a delivery app just to be told that our phone numbers are invalid i was really looking forward to some sushi <laughs> so i guess we're ordering from the hotel tonight then it's not the best food what have we done oh yeah we went out today today was cute oh, i had the shits this morning and then today was cute and then I had the shits again. I had the shits again and I was like, babe, we need to go home immediately because I don't know how long these cramps are going to hold before I embarrass both of us in public. More than I'm already embarrassing us. <laughs> to be fair, it's so strange. Like, I've never been somewhere where you see so many people have had surgery, like, like nose jobs, hair transplants, and they're all just walking around. Like, it's so normal, normalised here. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but yeah, it's... It's just a strange thing because I'm not used to it at all. But it also makes me feel a bit better that I'm not the only one walking around. I basically started vlogging to say, although my nose is like completely numb to the touch, like I cannot feel that. I keep getting itches that I can't scratch and it's so, oh, it's so annoying. I don't know who that is right now. I'm literally, I'm freaking myself out a lot. <laughs> it looks so weird. You know, like when you get an itch on your foot and then you itch it, but it tickles. So it doesn't actually help, it just makes it worse. That's what this feels like. <laughs> and I get my cast off on the 28th and I can't wait. I'm also really nervous and I feel like if the rest of my face doesn't look like my face and it looks how it does right now, I'm, I think the whole thing's gonna just be really weird. And I'm gonna be like, what? So I've just looked back at the footage when I first came out and my face was still normal and I don't think I looked weird. But right now, everything's just yeah, hopefully I get a better sleep tonight because it was kind of rough last night. And yeah, I guess we'll find something else to do tomorrow. <sighs> hopefully I will look a bit more like myself tomorrow because I can't deal with this anymore. <laughs> Also, first time trying Schweppes Mandarin. I'm very much a fan of Schweppes. Never seen this flavor. Very excited. Oh, so good. Hey, it looks amazing. Thank you. This is gift. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I don't even know if I can eat this much. <laughs> I might need your help. So cold guys we were not expecting this when I checked the weather it was quite mild but it's actually two degrees right now <laughs> 
tried. Turkish coffee. I'll try it again. It's so different to like what coffee is normally to me. Yeah. I've got it with sugar. So like... I can't explain the taste. Wow, it's really strong. Very bitter. Let me take you trying it. I reckon oh, you'll really like good. it. I thought you'd like it. That's I said really, that to Richard. Really good. <laughs> Howdy, howdy, howdy. What, why did I do that? Sorry I haven't like picked up the camera and spoke much the last bit of the vlog. I just kind of tired. I feel tired and I'm ready to go home. I'm feeling a bit homesick. So I've not really wanted to like chat too much. Tomorrow's cast off day. Get stuff. Get stuff. But yeah, it's been a really nice day. We went out quite early this morning to shoot some stuff. Obviously not for me because <laughs> but it was really beautiful. We saw a really nice sunrise in the cab and like on the way to the location. We had some really nice food. And then yeah, we just kind of bopped about a little bit and we went to like the Grand Bazaar and stuff. Turns out we were right where, right by where we were the other day when we went to the Blue Mosque. So we went to the other mosque. I think it's called the Hagia Sophia. Stunning. I'm so glad that we went into that one today because I don't know. I Out of the two, that one was my favorite. Like visually, it was just beautiful. It is a little bit later on now just five past three and we are back in the room we're just having a little earl grey tea and i'm gonna have a little treat because why the hell not i love baklava so bought myself some basically just gonna chill for the rest of the day then tomorrow's cast off day which i'm really excited about but i'm also really nervous it is what it is now so <laughs> let's just pray i like it i feel like it's gonna look really weird because my nose is still gonna be way more swollen than the end result but also because my face like all of here is really swollen this isn't like my usual face because that's all swollen and my eyes and stuff don't look like me i think the whole thing together is just gonna be like who is that? But because I've watched so many vlogs, a lot of people say that you shouldn't be disheartened by the way your nose looks on cast off day because it's going to look very different month to month for like the next year. I think by the three month mark is when it should kind of look closer to how it's going to look. So I'm going to keep a level head and like not let myself freak out. But yeah, it's tomorrow. I can't believe it. I think that's the hardest part is like obviously knowing you've had it done and then not being able to know or see it at all for like the first five to seven days. I do however know that like my cast around here feels way looser so I feel like the swelling's definitely gone down. Like there's a big gap up here. It just doesn't feel as tight to my face so that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Today's the first day that I can pretty much almost properly breathe through my nose. It's still a little bit like stuffy but it's not like bubbling and popping and snot in the same way. And I can smell stuff like properly, properly again, which is nice. And this isn't even my full range of smell, but I'm very excited to be able to breathe and smell properly again. That is the update. Oh, I'm gonna have my tea and my snacks. And yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow for cast off day. Uh -huh. 
but in first month, sometimes it will look too big, too yeah. small. It is not. Okay, don't worry about it. It already looks better than before, yes. so <laughs> I'm happy. Uh, you will keep those tapes for seven days. Yeah. Uh, after seven days, you will remove them. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you can put new one just for night time. Okay. Every night you can put uh, new tapes yeah. uh, because when you lie down, when you sleep, it becomes a little bit small. Okay. And how long do two I weeks. Two weeks. Okay. Uh, now you can uh, wash your face. You can wet them. No problem. Okay. No massage. No massage. If you are using eyeglasses, you can wear them. Antibiotic after finishing the previous one, yep. we continue this one. Okay. This is flight permission yeah. At the airport, you need this one. Hey guys, we got back last night and today I'm flying to Paris to go to my grandfather's funeral. That's tomorrow. So I've just been packing for that. As you guys will have seen from my cast off day, I have to keep this tape on for seven days. I'm so sorry I didn't get a proper clip of my nose from the side. When he gave me the mirror, I just put the phone out of my hand to actually have a look at it. It is super swollen. It kind of looks like my nose before, but just a bit more symmetrical, a little less bulbous. Like It looks like a slightly better version of my nose before, but I know it's gonna go down a lot so what I will do is at the end of the seven days I'll just quickly pop back on to this vlog to show you guys what it looks like in seven days when I get to take this tape off and then after that I'll just be taping it at night every time I look at it I'm like it does look so much more cute and buttony even though it's still so big and swollen but the main thing that I really like so far is that I still look like myself like I did not my whole thing was like I don't want to be unrecognizable I don't want to look like a different person like I still want to look like myself just just a little more refined, you know? Oh, this is a hat that I crocheted, by the way. This is like the first thing I ever crocheted. I don't know if I ever showed you guys. I think I might have. But yes, I'm wearing this to the airport. I'm also kind of paranoid that they're not going to let me fly because I've had a nose job. <laughs> that would be the worst thing ever. Wish me luck. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Excuse my appearance. I just got back from Paris today, so I'm a bit disheveled a little bit um, to be honest i'm exhausted i'm really drained but i have a nose update it's been 10 days since my surgery well it was yesterday that it was 10 days since my surgery actually so i messaged fuzai who is dr tuskin's lovely assistant um and i sent him some photos and he said to remove the stitches so we're gonna give that a go i'm not gonna lie i'm really really nervous because whenever i touch where the stitches are it's pretty tender it's still quite swollen especially on this side. And I don't know how it's gonna feel. They've been told it doesn't hurt, but I'm still extremely nervous, I can't lie. I'm not gonna come too close to the camera because I don't wanna gross you guys out, but basically there's a little bit of like a knot on parts of the stitching. I've been told to just snip that and then basically pull the stitches out. If it's too uncomfortable, I can just leave it and they'll come out on their own because I've obviously chopped the knot. But I'm gonna give it a go because I kind of want the stitches out, so. <gasps> oh. Oh, that, that was not, oh man. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of tender. Okay, it's not that bad. It kind of hurts, but it's like, can you guys see that? There you go. It kind of hurts, but it's that like tickly kind of pain. It's not really painful. I think also just because I'm like nervous about it, I'm like, oh, it makes me want to sneeze. <laughs> And sneezing hurts my rib. <coughs> oh no. Nope. Oh, it is a little bit tender, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Nope. <coughs> oh, I'm not enjoying this. I do kind of just want them out now though. No, I'm not enjoying this. This this hurts. This actually hurts, I'm not gonna lie. Oh man. Oh fuck. Oh. Oh, mm -mm. nope. Oh. Okay, I'm getting some of them out. 
Bro, the ones inside my nose? Uh-uh. Okay, there's another one. Bro. Okay, well, just so that you know, it's a little bit tender. It kind of hurts. I'm gonna go and finish this off without you guys. I'm gonna like put some YouTube on or something just to distract myself. Update. Once I got the hang of it, because I think I was doing it wrong, once I got the hang of it, it really wasn't that bad. I didn't realize that there was loads of little knots. I thought it was like a knot on either side and then just pull. There was actually loads of little knots, so you just had to snip at those. And then I was pulling the stitches out really easily. Yeah, I know this feels a little bit tender, but it really wasn't that bad. Maybe watch a video of how to do it first so you don't hurt yourself, because it was really uncomfortable when I first started doing it. I think I've got them all out. I'm not really sure. But, sorry, this is kind of gross, but I'm going to show you guys. All my stitch is gone. Obviously, there's like a bit of scarring right now, but it's fresh. It's really in the crease, and it's really not that bad, because I scar really easily. So I'm super happy about that, because obviously when it fades, it's hopefully going to be like virtually invisible. It feels so nice to have those stitches out. This bit still feels really tight. However, my nostrils feel so much more like free and less tender, and I can like touch them and move them, and it, there's literally basically no pain. Like when I had the stitches in and I was touching it, it was really tender. So that is such a relief. Like it feels so much nicer and I'm super happy to have the stitches out as well just because they're a bit unsightly and they were also sometimes when I was breathing like flailing around in my nostrils which was so ticklish. <laughs> I'm gonna just rinse my nose out with you know the rinsey bottle thing which you've seen me do. I had to buy a new one in France. I actually really like this one though. Oh it feels so weird and so good. I'm also starting to get a bit of feeling back in my nostrils like it's still kind of numb but I can feel it whereas hair is still super like, I don't feel anything. It's so numb. I don't even know if I should be touching it or not, but I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, I will be back in two or three days. We'll remove the tape and I will show you how it's looking a week after cast off. So two weeks post-op. I've just taken the top bit of tape off. I thought I was filming. I'm so nervous because when I got the cast off initially, like, it didn't look crazy, but it kind of just looked like how my nose looked before, but like a little bit more even. But obviously it was so swollen that that's not how it's going to look in the end game. I was like, did I do this for nothing? My nose gonna take up to three months to look normal and how it's gonna look permanently so I'm really nervous taking this off and I was just saying I usually would never film with you guys on this side of my face because this was like my ugly side so it would always be like this way unless I didn't think about it so it'll be interesting to see what this side of my face looks like now and if I feel more comfortable or not the tape is pretty oily though so I feel like it's gonna come off really easily yeah This is so weird. <laughs> what the? No, because... Oh, I still don't know if I like this side. Oh wait, no, it's so cute when I smile. I need to get all this sticky stuff off my face. Do you know what is so weird? It looks like kind of how my nose would look if I had a filter. This is tripping me out just a little bit, guys. See how I look the same, but just slightly improved? Like, this is what I wanted. The swelling has gone down so much already, I can't believe it. Like, if you'd seen this up close last week, it's so weird when I smile, like, my tip is super, like, I can't feel this. I can feel my finger touching it, but my nose, I can't feel anything. And when I smile, it feels really like stiff and I don't know, like hard. I don't know. This is a this is actually a trip right now. It's so weird, but I'm so happy because I still look so much like me. It's so cute. My boyfriend's gonna trip out. I think he's gonna be like, you look different, but the same. Because he wasn't there when I had my cast removed. So he's not seen the in-between. But this is so different already. And the fact that this is still super swollen. I'm kind of tripping at the fact that it's gonna get smaller because I'm already happy. I'm gonna clean this stuff off though and I'll come back and show you guys. But what the hell? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad because I was so scared that I wasn't going to look like myself anymore. And the fact that I don't have all that kind of swollen look from the migrated filler makes such a difference. This is insane. I'm two weeks post up and it already looks this good. Like it shouldn't look this good already. Oh, it's just so cute. I've just been like looking in the mirror tripping out. I've got a fat spot here though which is kind of painful, but I can't really squeeze it right now. This is a trip because I look like me. The thing is, now I'm tripping out because I'm like, it's really swollen and I don't want it to change that much that it looks tiny and not like me. And I don't know if people who know me would even like really notice unless it's like, you know, my best friend Emma or someone. I feel like if I was to post on social media right now, like nobody would really notice. This is such a trip, but I feel so much 
cuter and it's really weird because I feel like this is how I always in my head I was like this is how I look but then I would take photos and stuff and it wouldn't correlate with like how I expected the picture look and the vision of myself that I had in my head and that would get me down I know it's silly but it's the truth and now I just feel like this is me this is also confirmed that my nose for me was always the issue I'm so happy with everything else like everything else that I ever really changed was because I couldn't change my nose and I was trying to compensate for it in different ways like when I had that crazy filler I know you guys remember remember the crazy filler I was like fully in denial about it it was so bad but I was like if I just make my face a bit bigger then my nose will look smaller I think that was partially like my mentality then and I was also just like oh let me just try it I also did it with my lips I was like if my lips are bigger then my nose won't look as big in comparison you know if my eyes could be bigger I feel like my nose wouldn't have looked as big but I think this was always my issue and now I've just got my nose but smaller I'm just like I'm cute as fuck. This is the weirdest thing ever. I don't know why I feel kind of emotional about it, but I'm just happy, I think, because it was an insecurity for a very long time. Like I said, 20 years ago was when I first was like, mm, if I could change something, it would be my nose at the age of 12. And now have I finally done it? And I feel like, why am I so emotional? I wish I'd done it sooner, to be honest, but I'm also really, really glad I waited because obviously I went to the right doctor. So hopefully I will never have to do this again. It was a one-time thing. I don't ever want to have a surgery again like it wasn't awful but it's just not no surgery is pleasant no healing is pleasant I think that's why I'm emotional as well because I was so scared of the results but it's perfect so yeah it's big shout out to Dr Taskin and his wonderful assistant Fuzai you guys have been amazing and everybody else involved just unreal in terms of understanding what I want and explaining like what will look good and what won't oh wait my mom my mom's gonna see my nose for the first time hold on <laughs> Ah. Hi. Hi. Are you ready? Yeah. Remember, it's still really swollen. I it's so cute, and I still look like me. <laughs> Do you like it? Hello, everybody. <laughs> I just realised that I haven't given you a one-month update post-surgery yet, so we're here to do that now. I'm just going to sit down because this camera is really heavy and I've not been able to exercise for like five weeks, so it's pretty difficult for me to carry right now. Right, I do look a little different because the lighting's not as good down here, but it'll have to do. Um, so, this is my nose. Um, I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder actually because, look, we're gonna talk about this. I, I think I've got a little bit of dysmorphia and I think my head's been playing games with me a little bit because when I look at myself, sometimes I'm like, oh my God, it doesn't even look any different to how it looked before surgery, but it looks so different. But it's a classic case of, you know, like for example, somebody gets lip filler, a couple months in, they get used to the lip filler and they think that their lips look tiny, even though they look way different to how they did pre-filler. And I think this is important to talk about because it can be very dangerous if you haven't got the right mentality and if you're not doing certain things for the, for the right reasons or if you're not in the right mind frame to be doing certain things. I think personally, because of other shit that's been going on, my mind isn't at its strongest right now. It was out of my control, obviously I'd booked the surgery and then stuff happened, which played with my head at the point of going into surgery and now. So maybe I wasn't in the best mind frame, but when I booked it, I was like, cool. Um, but I'm glad that I'm reporting back to you guys because now looking at myself on camera, I'm like, it looks so good and so different versus just looking at myself in the mirror. I think I'm okay though, because I know I don't have like a super addictive personality. And I also check myself regularly, like looking at myself now, I'm like, girl, like, shh, like you look great. It looks so good. I think also over the festive period over Christmas in Paris as well, you know, I had a bit of wine, maybe some foods that are like quite salty. So my face in general is puffy, but it also can really affect your nose post-surgery, especially this early on. So. There's been times where I've woken up on my nose or I've taken my tapes off in the morning. My nose feels so swollen and it feels heavy. So I need to remember that like, I'm literally just over a month into my healing process. I've still got two months until it's gonna look pretty much 90% of the final result. So I need to remember that and stop like letting my head go. Nah, 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 nah. But yeah, it is, it's a weird thing. It's a super strange thing to see yourself changing day to day. Like the other day I was touching it and I felt like there was a huge feeling of a bump on this side compared to this side and I was like oh my god what if all the swelling goes down and there's just like a big lumpy bump but it's like there's no point in worrying you just got to see where it goes to kind of make myself feel a bit better I did watch a few more recovery 
update rhinoplasty vlog situations and it definitely put my mind at ease seeing people from their one month results versus their three month results and then from there to six months and then there to a year still things are like refining and to be quite honest if it did stay like this i'd be happy yeah i think you can see like it's still super swollen i'm supposed to get a lot more definition in the tip i think from the side as well you can tell that the end is still quite like not large but it looks kind of heavy in proportion with the rest of my nose i don't think it looks bad though and then this is the other side and then I thought I'd show you the scars as well. Excuse, I've got a huge painful spot right there. So let's ignore that because it's literally changing the shape of my nostril. It was actually worse yesterday. Um, but there's my scarring. I'm so sorry if there's like bogey on nose hair. I've got some little scars here. You can kind of see it there. This side's a little worse. I actually think that I've split. Can you see there's like a little hole there where my skin didn't heal back together properly? But that's my fault. <laughs> and then this scar here hold on there in this nostril i don't know if it's like a keloid scar but there's a big like hard bit of skin that i don't have in this side like this side feels way closer to how my nose felt before surgery so i don't really know if this is going to go down or if i need to like massage it or get like maybe steroid injections or something like that because it just feels weird to me and i get bothered by things really easily it's like a sensory thing but i will message my doctor and ask him about it but i know like it's not preventing me from breathing or anything like that like it's fine i'm just like anal about things but yeah like the inside of my nose is so much better now my breathing's so much better now and well i don't really know what else to update you on right now um the only thing that's really throwing me off at the moment is not having my septum ring in because it's been 10 years, maybe longer, that I've had my septum pierced. I don't even know if the, if the hole's still there, to be honest. I don't feel it right now, but because my nose doesn't feel quite soft or normal yet, I don't know. It could be like swollen shut right now. That's the only thing looking at myself. I feel really, really weird and not myself is not having my septum ring in. That's one thing that I can't wait to get back, whether it be that I'm able to find the hole if it's still there and put my thing back in or wait a year and then get it re-pierced hopefully it won't be painful this time but yeah that's the only thing i just I look at myself and then i'm like there's something not quite right but yeah i'm so happy with it so far like it just feels like my nose but a little bit better that's all i have to update you on right now i want you guys to leave any questions that you have that i might not have answered i will do like a three month update i guess a six month update and then a year update i think that'll be like a separate video because we need to get these videos out but yeah if you guys have any more questions about anything please ask me so that i can answer those in the next video yeah i'm really looking forward to seeing how my nose changes over the next couple of months but like i said i'm super happy right now so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for anyone that needed some information or, you know, has been looking for a video like this and has been unable to find it. I want to reiterate again that surgery, like elective plastic surgery, whatever you're doing, is no joke. Like it is a serious thing. This wasn't fun by any means. Like, yes, I'm super happy with the result. And like, now that it's over, I'm like, oh, it wasn't that bad, but it really was not fun. Like the healing, like not being able to breathe through my nose for like two weeks, swelling, pain, having to clean out your nose all the time, like taking the stitches out. It's not a smooth sailing, like easy procedure. Just if you're thinking about doing this, don't take the decision lightly just because you've seen mine go well. I also wanna say that obviously I shared my doctor. I'm not saying that you guys should go to him. I just want to share somebody that did my nose very well but that doesn't mean that he's the right doctor for you and i urge you guys to still do your research and find somebody that will do exactly what you want and is competent just because he was the right doctor for me it doesn't mean that he'll be the right doctor for you necessarily and yeah don't pick a doctor based on how cheap they are pick a doctor based on how well you think they will do what you want doing and based on obviously their skill and accreditations etc anyway i hope this video was helpful i hope you guys enjoyed like i said before please be nice nothing can be changed it's done now so um, I will see you guys all in the next video. Don't know what that's going to be yet. It will probably be the first video of the new year or second if this one's the first. I don't know. Love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.